hello students. Today, our topic is a natural disaster in New Zealand. Earthquake in Christchurch, Pulse 2, page 34. Please be ready with your textbook as we are going to start learning now. Natural disaster means bencana alam. There are many different types of natural disaster that we have already learned such as tsunami, flood, and volcanoes. Today, we are going to look at earthquake. Uh, like this picture here, Gempa Bumi, which happened in Christchurch in New Zealand. Want to know more about it? Let's go. So, kita tengok eh. This is the page uh, page 34 of your textbook. Sebab uh, it happens in New Zealand, right? Uh, we start with the fact box. This is uh, information about New Zealand. New Zealand is a country in the Pacific Ocean, 1,500 km east of Australia. Many earthquakes happen there. Uh, memang banyak gempa bumi berlaku dekat, dekat New Zealand ni. And New Zealand also has more than 50 volcanoes. Bukan hanya earthquakes, there are also volcanoes. Right? So, earthquake in Christchurch ni sebenarnya memang like real story tau. A few years ago, a terrible earthquake happened in the city of Christchurch in New Zealand. It killed 185 people. Ramai sangat yang terkorban. But Jay Watson, uh, this handsome guy here, had a lucky escape. How he could survive? Wants to know more about it? Uh, sebab tu kita akan baca teks ni. So, dia teks ni pasal reporter ask questions about Jay kan? And then Jay give, um, tell about his experience. So, before we read, I'm gonna um, show you a um, few words. Okay, ha, kat sini awak nampak kan ada word check. So, words ni kita nak fahamkan so that can help you to understand the text. The first one is shake means gegaran. Drill, latih to be. Emergency, kecemasan. Collapse, boom, runtuh. Scratch, calar. Bruise, lebam. And brick, batu-bata. Ingat lagi tak? Shake means gegar meletuh. Bergegar. Alright, next. Drill means latih to be. Emergency, help, help. Kecemasan. And then, collapse. Boom. Runtuh. Scratch is not chanting. It's chalar. Bruise. Bruise. Lebam. Break. Ialah batu bata. Okay. So, kita dah belajar all the words related to the text. Shake. Gegaran. Drill. Latih to be. Emergency. Kecemasan. Collapse. Runtuh. Scratch, chalar, bruise, lebam, and last one, brick, batu bata. Let's get started. Let's read this article together. First, reporter tu pun tanya, What were you doing when the earthquake happened, Jay? Uh, Jay pun cakap, I wasn't at school that day because I was sick. I was sitting on my bed when I heard a terrible noise and the whole house started shaking. <gasps> Rumah dia tiba shaking. Maksudnya apa tadi? Bergegar. And when, what did you do? I realized it was an earthquake. Gempa bumi. So I quickly got down on the floor between my bed and the wall. I thought that was the safest place. So dia duduk antara katil dengan dinding kan. So dia harapkan tu tempat yang paling selamat lah. At school, we often have earthquake drills. So we know what to do in an emergency. What happened next? Suddenly, the wall of my bedroom collapsed. <gasps> wall, dinding, bilik dia tu. Collapse, runtuh. And I fell out of the house. I fell about 10 meters from the second floor of the house into the front garden. <gasps> so, dia dah jatuh. Bayangkan, dia duduk kat, pada tingkat 2. Boom! Bila dinding dia tu runtuh, dia terbaling sampai ke luar. Sampai ke garden rumah dia. So, reporter pun tanya lah. Were you hurt? Atau cedera ke? At first, I thought I was seriously injured. Dia ingatkan, dia memang akan cedera lah. Patah ke apa kan. But, I actually only had a few scratches. Ada sikit je. Ada cala-cala, few scratches and bruises on my back. Ada lebam sikit. I was really lucky. Dia bertuah sangat lah. And then, reporters asked him, How did you feel? Of course, they were scared kan? Because, not just because of the fall. Lots of bricks fell on top of me while I was lying on the ground. Bricks. Batu, batu. Berat kan? Jatuh atas badan dia bila dia jatuh kat bawah tu. So, dia macam terperangkap lah. Luckily, our next door neighbor who's a firefighter pulled me out from under the bricks. Ha, dia punya jiran pergi tolong bantu tarik dia. My mom couldn't believe that I was alive. Mesti mak dia macam, Alhamdulillah anak aku selamat. Ha. And the last one, the reporter asked, How did your life change because of the earthquake? 
Well, we had to move to a new house because there was so much damage. Dia kena pindah rumah baru lah sebab rumah lama ni dah memang banyak kerosakan kan. The new house is in a different area but I still go to the same school. And it's only got one floor so I feel a bit safer. Dia duduk rumah satu tingkat je. <laughs> Dia rasa lebih selamat lah. So this is the text about earthquake in Christchurch. Let's answer the question. Okay. You look at exercise 3 of the textbook. Okay. Number 1. Jay tried to. Jay cuba apa? Escape or protect himself? Dia nak lari ke? No kan? He tried to protect himself. Uh, kenapa we say that he want to try to protect himself? Because kan dia cakap kat sini. I quickly got down on the floor between my bed and the wall. Question number 2. Jay fell out of a window or through a wall? Tak ada kan? Dia bukan jatuh daripada tingkap. Dia fell through a wall. Hmm. Because if you see here, suddenly the wall of my bedroom collapsed and I fell out of the house. Dia sebab wall tu collapse, runtuh. So, dia pun terkeluar daripada situ. Next, Jay was badly or not badly? He was not badly hurt, luckily. Because he said, I only had a few scratches and bruises. Uh, so, ada sikit-sikit je luka dengan lebam-lebam. Jay was helped by someone he knew or a team of firefighters. There was no team of firefighters. Tak ada uh, kumpulan bomba. No. He was helped by someone he knew. Ya ke? Apa tu? Uh, someone he knew sebab, ni dia kan dia kata, our next door neighbor, jiran sebelah dia, pulled me out. Uh, so that means someone he knew lah. And last one, J no longer lives in the same area. Dia dah tak, dia dah tak lives in the same area ataupun dia dah tak goes to the same school. He said he, uh, he no longer lives in the same area. It's in a different area. So, they don't live in the same area. Lah. That's all for today. If you have any question, you can always PM me and ask me. Yeah? Bye!